so I'll just kind of show both of these labels. Again, um, you know, this is basically the same juice. This is at 100 proof. This is a cast strength, whatever that happens to be. So you'll see that handwritten on the label because it's different. You know, each time you're going to see a different proof because different casts do different things. Um, and even though it's the same stuff, it these will really taste different. Um, I, I keep going on about the water. I said I wouldn't, but I'm, I'm going to anyway. If you aren't used to trying your whiskeys at different dilutions, at different proofs, you'll be really shocked how much difference it makes. You can take a cast strength whiskey and dilute it down to 50% and, and pretty much convince just about anybody who doesn't know better that they're two different whiskeys. Not every whiskey, but a lot of whiskeys are that way. And these certainly are. This has a lot of uh, different dimensions in it. Um, I think you can see the color pretty well. But, uh, you know, I'll take one for the team here and pour a little glass. Um, so just to kind of give you, so hopefully you can kind of, you smell that through the camera, I'm sure. Um, but you get a lot more. So this is, again, not a bourbon, but something that's a lot closer to a bourbon. If you're really kind of in that bourbon camp, if, if your idea of whiskey heaven is George T. Stagg or William LaRue Weller or, you know, Weller 107, even, something like that, this is probably going to appeal to you. Not the same, but has a lot more wood. Again, this is sort of sliding toward, uh, this is the nearly burnt corn, we'll say, okay? More barrel influence. It does tend to be older. Um, we don't mind people knowing that, but... We de-emphasize age a lot of times because a barrel's ready when it's ready. And we're not going to discriminate because it's too young, and we're not going to give it a pass just because it meets age recommendations. It's ready when it's ready. Um, and, you know, you, you do tend to get more true blue character in a lot of older barrels. But normally by six or eight months, I can tell you whether a barrel is bec going to become baby blue or true blue. Not that it has become, but whether it will become, because it's two sort of equally good but very different paths that you tend to see the corn whiskey take. Um, anyway, so tasting notes. First of all, at 60%, a lot of intensity, a lot of power there. I still encourage people to try cask drink whiskey at cask. Um, it's, you know, tongue-numbing to some degree, but the whiskey is rested and kind of comfortable at the proof it already is. It's had time to sit and adjust. Whenever you do add water, you agitate it a little bit. You're exciting things out of it. And that's good. But it's not going to seem as sort of round and settled and integrated as it will be right out of the bottle, whatever that proof is. A um, lot more brown sugar, butterscotch. You know, if you've ever roasted corn over, over hot embers, you know, in the husk, and then grabbed it out just as it's starting to catch fire and then peeling off and get the little tiny black tips on the that's the kind of corn we're talking about. Not burned, not charcoal, but sort of intense basey notes of corn. And a lot more barrel character as I mentioned. So